Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today is finally the day that I am unboxing what's in this bag. I wanted to wait a little bit after the mugging incident just because I just needed some time to recover and this was kind of the time that I have to film. So actually I think by the time this video goes live, I will be on another trip to Hawaii, which I'm really, really excited about. And yeah, so here it is. This is the Cartier piece that I picked up on the day that I got mugged. And I do go into a little bit of a story about that um, a couple of videos ago, which I will link in case you missed it. But I had an appointment with my sales associate to pick this up and this is my birthday gift to myself. My birthday is not until the end of March, but whenever I have something that's like, quote, a little bit bigger or a little bit more expensive in mind, and if it's something that I've really been thinking about for a long time, I try to order it probably at the end of January or early February because with certain things that they don't have in store, you just never know how long it's gonna take. And luckily, I think this item only took two to three weeks, but my essay did tell me there were some things, I think more of the more rare pieces, probably the more expensive pieces that I, I can't afford right now, take a little bit longer. So I had that appointment to go pick this up from her, and I am so happy this did not get stolen because I would have been just devastated if this was taken. Without further ado, let's finally get into what's in the box. So, we have the cleaning kit right here. And, oops, that's upside down. So here we go. And when you open it, it is that right there. And I just really like how nice this box is. It's like a little drawer that you pull out. We have my invoice and receipt, which I will tell you the price of this after I unbox it. I unfortunately did not beat the most recent price increase, so that was a little bit sad. And I have a pouch right here, so maybe this will be a clue as to what it is. And I'm not, oh, what are these things? Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a little perfume sample that my essay gave me, so that's really nice. Oh, and she also gave me some chocolates. I remember she gave me chocolates when I bought this because the Just Clue was my birthday gift to myself a couple years ago, and she also gave me some chocolates back then. So this is really cute, and it even has a little Cartier branded ribbon right there. So that's adorable. And this is the Certificate of Authenticity, which I will share later. And oh my God, here it is, you guys. Here is the box, and the bag is now empty. Okay, here is the beautiful wrapping and seal on both sides here and here. I just love the way that they package these. I think they're so beautiful and it almost makes me a little bit sad to unbox this if you can believe that just because it's so immaculate, it's so beautiful. Just look at how detailed that creasing is, but I'm gonna unbox it. So here we go. Here is the box. Here is the other box. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Ugh, I am absolutely in love. I love this so, so much. Okay, so. Here we have the Cartier Etincelle bracelet in white gold, and this is the size 16. My Just on Clue is in the size 15, and I wanted something that was gonna fit in between, so we decided to go up to a 16 for this one. And oh, this is so stunning. I'm gonna try to see if I can remember how to open it because I practice in the store with her, but oh, she is so beautiful. Okay, let's see if I can open. Aha, so here is the opening mechanism and you just press this right here and it unlocks and then you can open it that way. Ugh, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speech speechless. Um, okay. And here it is on. Ugh, she's so beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, so I did want something different. I thought long and hard about going to yellow gold or rose gold just to kind of keep things, I guess, more seamless on this side. And 
At the same time, I've kind of been exploring more white gold lately. The last time I was in Singapore last August, I actually did a personal color analysis there. I was really surprised to learn that I fall more into the winter category, and my uh, consultant did say that silver and white gold looked really good on me. I always thought of myself as a gold girly, but ever since she said that, I have really realized that I've been gravitating a lot more towards white gold and silver pieces just because I like the way that they pop and they just look different. So yeah, I've kind of been exploring that a little bit more and that's a big reason why I decided to go with white gold this time. I wanted something different. I wanted something that would pop a little bit and something that I could wear casually every day, but also wear alone and also wear on more special occasions. So the Etencel is a bangle and it is diamonds just on the front side. So you can see um, on the other side of it right there uh, that it is no diamonds it's just the white gold and then on top is kind of where the diamonds are and the diamonds are really teeny tiny but they are very sparkly and i think since i've had these two bracelets i think what i've learned from wearing these two bracelets consistently day in and day out is that i kind of like the bangle feel a little bit more than i do the regular bracelet feel if that makes sense like this one sometimes i'm like is it on like i don't always feel it and i get a little bit nervous that i've lost it i think that's because I had that experience with the Tiffany bracelet, the peace bracelet a long time ago where I lost it. And I'm always a little bit paranoid that I'm actually gonna lose this one. For some reason, I just feel a little bit more secure wearing bangles. Maybe that's crazy. I don't know if people have different experiences with that, like definitely let me know. Are you more of a bangle person or are you just more of like a regular bracelet person? My theory on the reason why I'm more of a bangle person is because I lost a bracelet once that wasn't a bangle. So anyway, so here is the stack and I I actually really, really like the way that this looks. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to actually undo this really quickly and show you guys on the other side. So it does, it is pretty easy to, to take on and off, which is really nice. Here's my Chopard watch, which I will, I have a video on this on how I basically revamped this watch. So another reason why I wanted to go with white gold is because I wanted something that would match this if I wanted to wear this on my left hand. So here is what it looks like with my watch on my left hand right there. And this one does have three little floating diamonds in the middle. And yeah, I don't know. I really like the way this looks. What do you guys think? And then let me just take the watch off so you can see what it looks like, the bracelet just by itself. Yeah, I just really think this looks very elegant and understated and really, really beautiful. And eventually I do kind of want to get a diamond tennis bracelet. I don't think I'm going to go Cartier or Tiffany for it, just a regular tennis bracelet, just because you're just paying so much extra for what you're getting. But I am a little overwhelmed by the choices out there. So if you guys have any recommendations for diamond tennis bracelets, let me know. I definitely want something that's like a little bit smaller, nothing too ornate, nothing too ostentatious, but if there are good companies out there that you really trust and have had, had a really good experience with, please let me know. I'm not gonna get one right away, probably not this year, but it has definitely been on my mind that I do wanna get a tennis bracelet at some point in the future. But yeah, so here they are together. Um, let me know what you guys think. And do you like mixing metals or do you like to keep things the same? I'm just curious like how you guys like to style your bracelets and this is going to be pretty much my what i think is going to be my everyday jewelry i'm going to experiment with this like i don't know if i'm going to feel weird wearing three bra bracelets on my right hand just because i've been so used to wearing two even though i like the look of three i'm just not sure if that's going to be overkill so do you guys think this looks better having one hand like this where i have the diamond and white gold ring here with the rose gold bracelets here as well as the rose gold ring here this is a gucci ring with pink sapphires and this so do you think this looks okay or should i do this so here is another look right there do you guys think that looks too much or i could also just do two could definitely just play around with the combinations Here's what it looks like by itself with my ring like that, which I actually really love the way this looks. I think this looks really, really nice. And here is what it looks like with the Just On Clue. 
I don't know, I actually kind of really like the way that it looks by itself. This actually might be my favorite way to wear this, which is kind of unexpected. I really thought I was gonna get a third bracelet for my stack. So let's show you guys what's in here. This is the certificate of authenticity, and this has the date that I purchased it along with the serial number. And here's the invoice. All right, so let's go into how much I paid, which it was quite expensive. Um, I think they recently had a price increase and the price that I paid, so the, so the current retail price for the bracelet, um, and this is the white gold version, which is a little bit more expensive than the yellow gold or rose gold, so keep that in mind. And it is $7,850, which I think when I checked last year, I went to go try these on last year, and it was definitely a little bit cheaper than that. And the after tax, I ended up paying $8,527.07. So definitely expensive, but I absolutely love it. And I am really happy I went with the white gold version, even though I'm more of a gold person at heart, there's something about this white gold that I think is really, really beautiful. I think part of the reason why I feel that way too is because the diamonds are just a little bit more seamless. Like it just looks so nice when the color is all one and the same, if that makes sense. There are definitely some gold and diamond pieces that I think are really stunning as well. But for this, I just kind of wanted something that was a little bit more seamless. And yeah, I really, really love it. And the diamonds are definitely teeny tiny, but I don't know. I just I think this kind of daintier look suits me a little bit more personally so yeah that is the big reveal that I've been waiting to show you guys let me know what you think of the bracelet and yeah I would love to know your thoughts I would also love to know how you style your bracelets like what do you think would be the best combo I'm definitely going to be playing around with that for a while but I actually really like the way that this looks right here so I might try this out for a bit and then incorporate other pieces here and there so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate the love and the support if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you would also subscribe to my channel I'd really 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 appreciate that. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.